His reviews will get you further than the film will ever go If you give him just a moment of your time, he'll let you know Which movies rock, which movies stink, which movies shouldn't have been released Say hello to Confused Matthew Did I really do this? Did I really agree to review something called Star Wreck in the Perkening? Well, I guess I did, so here goes. Roll em. Oh my god, what is this? What the hell is this? What did I agree to watch? Star Wreck in the Perkening is a Finnish film which was written and produced by five guys in a two-room apartment. So basically, this is a fan film. It's a dark science fiction comedy which parodies Star Trek. I guess when I started the requested reviews, I should have specified that the films I review should be actual films. This is just a fan film. I'm not really sure how to judge this one. After all, I've accused a few major releases of coming off like fan fiction. This actually is fanfiction, so how can I criticize that? I don't read fanfiction, I don't watch fanfiction, I don't like fanfiction. So I feel just a little bit out of my element here. I guess I should just bite the bullet and say how I feel about this. Honestly, I felt nothing. This is about what I would expect from five guys in an apartment who think this is clever. I personally didn't find any of this funny or even amusing, the least bit creative, or really very good. In fact, in the past, my friends and I had actually made stupid home movies like this that were about this good. But taking it for what it is, you know, as easy a target as Star Trek is to make fun of, I actually didn't think this was very clever on any particular level. Most of it was just one-note jokes about Starfleet people doing things that Starfleet people wouldn't be seen doing, like eating at a diner or working at a fast food court. It's really nothing particularly hilarious. Just to give you an example of the genius level of comedy here, there's a character in this film that is supposed to be a parody of Chekhov, Except his name is Fuck Off. Huh. Huh. Uh. I'm also told that this pokes fun at Babylon 5, which I have never seen, so I can't speak to that. That's right. I've never seen the series Harlan Ellison wrote for. I really need to do something about that. There is the barest thread of a plot here involving the Starfleet that isn't really Starfleet taking over the world for no good reason, but for the most part, the whole thing is very random and slapdash. Again, it's about what you would expect from five guys who were just goofing around. The best I can say for this is that the production value actually isn't that bad for an independent project. It's not great, but for a group of guys who were just doing this for kicks, it's not that bad. I'm actually a little bit more impressed by what they were able to do with this than what they actually did. Another problem could be translation. The language gap could have been a factor in some of the jokes going over my head. But I think the real issue here is that these guys are fans who are making a film that they think is funny. Whether or not anyone else does really doesn't seem to be the point. As far as the plot goes, it moves in several different ways, but all into the same direction. This guy is just taking over things, really for no other reason than just to set up jokes that I didn't find funny. I don't know guys, I'm really lost on how to judge this one. I'm sure the gentlemen who made this will get a big chuckle out of it for the rest of their lives, but as to how I felt about this, I can only quote Richard Roper in his review of Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. It was in color, it was mostly in focus, and that's all I have to say about it.